your your thinking or what you would this money would be used for. Uh, and to this day, we have yet to get an explanation on what that is. So, you know, we are stewards of this hospital uh, and the monies. We are a not-for-profit hospital, so we get audited and we're, we will get held accountable if, if we don't do the right thing. So we just can't hand out money like that without having uh, at least a proposed itemized uh, of what that money is going to go for, what that funding is going to be utilized for. So, you know, we sometimes we have to say no and ask hard questions, and, and that's all we did in that situation, and that uh, um, we were met with uh, no response on that. What are some of the things that you guys want to accomplish um, that you think are being blocked or, or hampered by the actions of the district board? I think one of them right now, I can tell you, is the new lab we need to build, the new sterilization area we need to build, which is about $100 million, which YRMC pays for fully. But we have to, according to the lease, have the approval of, of the district board to spend the money. Um, we have given them proposals. They've asked for more information. We've given them a tour of the area of what will be done. Uh, we've actually ordered, I believe, an MRI machine, if I'm not mistaken, that came in. They would not approve the funds. We had to send it back. And these are things we need for our community to make it better. Our, our lab is working 24-7, I mean, so overworked with COVID and everything else is gone. And all we get from them is they table it. They won't give us the approval. And it's our money. We will spend the money YRMC. What, um, is, what is your understanding as to there is no why, under, why that's nothing. been tabled? No, they don't you give know, us I don't know. <laughs> they just table it. I, I don't understand what it is. I mean, I hear people talking about, you know, making the community better and, and, and all of this aspect and yet they've had they've had the opportunity to come in and look and see what they need and two of them are physicians that have worked to worked here in the hospital and I just don't understand if you're say that you want what's best for the community why are you jeopardizing patients at this point in time and like uh, both the Laura and Louie had said, we're paying the money and we financed and got available for it, but the lease says a certain dollar amount has to be approved uh, by the, you know, by the district and the district, uh, like Laura said, it has tabled it and tabled it and our guy has gone up there, I think, two times making a presentation and like Laura said, the whole group came down and walked and, and sh seen the uh, the areas that need uh, taken care of, but uh, they they continued to table it. I I don't know, I don't know why that's, that's from uh, at least from you know, I don't want to speak for them. From my understanding, it's because of those monthly reports that they're saying so they're not getting. They so harm they're the going to jeopardize the community just because, because of they're the not report? getting their, their monthly reports. I mean that that's. Uh, that sounds like you don't have the community in, a, in your best interest. So uh, yeah. I hope the voters understand that. There, there, there is, uh, and I'll add to that. There is absolutely no correlation between the uh, the request for for the funding for the the uh, increase in the lab and, and the sterilization processing and all that. There is no correlation between that and any of the reports that that they argue they need to get. Uh, it's it's. Uh, I think it's they're holding it hostage as, as kind of a, a, a battle uh, to us, and I think that's unfair to the community. It's unfair to our patients. I mean, um, these are things that are needed, uh, severely needed, so that we can continue to provide the care for our local patients here, our customers, and uh, we've abided by every every requirement of the lease to get that approved. We provided them with the explanation of the funding that we have available to do that. And, and in the past, there's never been an issue, and there's absolutely no reason for them to hold off on that funding for that project. Uh, and it's, I think it's, quite honestly, a very uh, a petty and, and, and unfair reason for this community for them to hold that uh, because they feel they're not getting the reports or that they should be getting. It's, one has absolutely nothing to do with the other, but they're holding this community hostage uh, of, of those improvements because of that. And I do want to ask you, Louie, Laura mentioned going to these hospital district board one meetings. I guess back in 2019 mm -hmm. became something. I don't know. I wasn't there. But, you know, Louie, you have been at some of the recent ones. 
And what's it like for you to, to go to them as a representative from YRMC? Oh, I have, I have no issues. Um, you know, like, like we had explained earlier, there, there was, when this all started, um, we didn't want to muddy the waters and create any kind of hostility. We wanted to work through this and get it, get this uh, lease issue uh, squared away. So most of us really didn't attend a lot of those uh, district meetings, and I've attended the last two because uh, I, I really wanted to see what the progress was and where we're going with that. And as Woody indicated, I have no problem sitting down with any of those board members to discuss how we can get back to doing what's important for this community and, and quit the squabbling over, over things. Um, but I think realistically, I think it's, you know, the balls in, in, in their hands are going to have to, you know, they're going to have to figure something out. There's a lot of uh, hate and discord that goes on, and you've witnessed them at, at, at that district board meeting uh, from people in the community. And that's okay, you know, that, that's a platform for them, and they're entitled to, to their free speech of that. Uh, but I think um, I've always been raised that if you're going to criticize something, you're going to speak about something, then you need to do so with all the facts in hand and have the facts and, and, and have an educated understanding of what's going on before uh, you start uh, touting things as being facts. And, and I think, and I think I've witnessed that at both of those meetings I've been to. There's just information that's being put out that is just uh, inaccurate. Um, I w we'd still like to know. I, I wasn't even aware that uh, that <clears throat> the district had initiated attacks on this community until most of us saw it on our property I don't uh, think property any of reports. us on the board knew until we saw it on our when we saw it on our tax bills that there was a hospital tax. None of us knew anything about that. Uh, and I th believe when we was inquired about, we were told that it was negotiated between the district and the board of supervisors with no vote from the community. Um, I understand the hospital has never, ever, YRMC, put a tax on people to pay for anything in this community. Um, so we still don't understand how that was added on and what it's for, because it will not go to us. We, we didn't ask for it. Yeah, it goes to, to them, I guess, right, to, but they've to never pay done for that. their... For what? They're, they're, I, guess, I don't know. I think they're legal counsel. I don't know. I mean. It makes no sense. Okay. I mean, that's my feeling is it makes no sense. Um, I, I just don't, I don't like secretive, I guess. I think we all should be open with each other. And I, and I, I say exactly what they do, reiterate it. It's we can fix this if people will sit down and, and really talk. Um, there's just it, it takes everybody being a grown up and sitting down at the table and having constructive criticism and accepting constructive criticism and making changes if need be and then coming together and doing what's best for our, our community. So coming up next week, there is you know, that another special meeting at mm -hmm. the Civic Center where mm -hmm. people have been invited to share their opinions on Yuma Regional Medical Center. Is that something that you guys will be attending or sending somebody to attend? You know, I don't. I don't know. Uh, there is. Uh, there's no requirement of of any yeah, of us 100%. to attend. Mm -hmm. uh, some of us may choose to attend. Um, I, I haven't decided if I'm going to attend yet. Um, but some of us may. We, we're right, we're pretty busy next week doing our own things and, and getting some stuff done here for the hospital. So, um, but you know what? That that's fine. That's a good opportunity for people to come in and and express their feelings about the hospital, good and bad, and, and I think that's what they, they indicated at the district meeting, that they wanted to hear good and bad. Um, how that helps in any way to get through this, I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's, it's uh, uh, people always have the opportunity in the forum through social media to, to complain or uh, to praise for something, so I don't know how um, that meeting is going to really uh, allow them or help them make any decisions that they're trying to make. Uh, they, they just need to get on with getting this, this squared out with us in the business of, of, of treating our people, our community, uh, with the health care that they need. Uh, but I mean, you're, you're going to get several people probably attending that meeting, but I think you have to, you have to take it, um, you have to take it with, uh, with a grain of salt because you're, it's, a, it's a small fraction of the hundreds of thousands of people that we treat here every year uh you know so uh, you know keep that in mind if you attend there when you, you listen to these people um you know we've, we've all talked about it uh those that have had a bad experience are probably going to scream the loudest we we all know that you know the squeaky the squeaky wheel gets the grease and we understand that and and they should they should complain if they have uh, an issue 
Uh, but uh, for by and large, you know, like I said, we treat hundreds of thousands of patients here. Uh, a lot of those have great experiences. Uh, a vast majority of them are treated with respect and with care here. We have a fabulous uh, staff from our uh, maintenance crew all the way up to our doctors, nursing staff, all of them do a great job here. And I mean, I hear from people in the community all the time how, hey, I, I had this done there, the staff was great, everything worked out great, and I've heard complaints, uh, we all do. I mean, as board members, I think that's kind of our job is to, you know, be the soundboard for the for community when somebody has an issue, you know, we, we look at it and say, well, maybe it is something we need to look at. But uh, I, I don't know um, what the district's purpose was to, 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 to do that, but I mean, it's, it's, it's great if they're, if they're doing it to give the community an opportunity to, um, you know, um, praise or argue or complain about something, that's fine. Uh, I think, I think it's, it's a good thing and hopefully they get something out of it that'll help them uh, move forward with this so we can, we can get back to doing what we need to do. But, um, so from, from what I understand, kind of the thought is obviously you know, great people can share their opinions, good or bad, but you guys aren't sure how that maybe helps mend things between the two groups. Yeah, I think that's true, uh, and I hope you realize that two or three hundred people, like Louis said, shows up, and and it may be more negative than positive. I'm, I don't know, but uh, when you look at what a population of the county, probably between 120, 150 thousand people, but that's a minute part. So that's to me one reason we started this campaign. We want to reach more than 200 people, uh, good and bad, whatever may come out of it. But I, I want to leave with one solid thing, and that is if they're willing to sit down and talk, we are willing to sit down, they being the district board. I know all five of them, and every one of us knows all five of them, and uh, all nine of us were willing to do that, and that's to me is the bottom line. Let's get our issues resolved and get back to taking care of patients. If there's a, obviously a, there's a ton of items between the two that there's disagreements upon. Even like you said, some of it potentially has gotten personal as well. But if you guess, just look at a big picture. Is there like a top two or, or three things that you think? really need to get solved for things to start moving forward? They just need to come to the table. That's, we're willing. They need to come to the table. And I think I, what he said, all of us on the board or whoever, we will all sit down with them. We've always said that. They're, they walked out of the mediation and don't return calls. And uh, you know, I don't understand that, being in business myself. We, we have to work things out. Um, so it's, and one point I want to bring up that you haven't brought up is Dr. Trenchell, and mm -hmm. it's a lot of negativity. Um, and I think it's real important for people to know that the operating board is the final say and the decision maker and things, not Dr. Trenchell. He yeah, listens, people say that he runs the board. He runs the board, no. And I will tell you this from per personal experience as well as probably anybody on the board. He listens to us, we listen to him, uh, but we make the decisions. He is not a dictator. He has never come across that way. Um, the hospital mentality across the nation has changed.